Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. So if you do have any scuba diving questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video and use this Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. Uh, I, myself, I do type out an answer as soon as I see them and uh, the community as well likes to answer questions. Uh, so well done everyone for doing that. Uh, today, I'm answering a question about skip breathing uh, by Indy Craze. So Indy Craze says, Mark, I'm a new diver and I've been told not to hold your breath. Good. Uh, would it be okay to hold it at the bottom of your breath, empty or near empty lungs, or is there some kind of injury that I'm not aware of? Uh, sort of. The main reason for never holding your breath rule while scuba diving is that you're more likely to become positively buoyant because you've got a full lung full of gas, you're more likely to float upwards, and then the gas in your lungs is going to expand and you'll damage your lungs. If you dive down, breathe normally, and then exhale most of your lungs, because you never empty your lungs completely, it's just how your lungs work, otherwise they collapse in on themselves, um, and then you hold, that empty lung, uh, you won't get any like over expansion injury. However, you'll probably run into hypercapnia because when you're not breathing, your body is still functioning and metabolizing and you're still creating carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is what tells your brain to breathe, basically. It's not the amount of oxygen in your system, it's the amount of carbon dioxide. Um, so by not getting rid of that gas by replacing it with nice fresh gas and then <sighs> exhaling it out, the carbon dioxide is going to start to increase in your system and you'll start to hyperventilate basically. Um, there can be some other um, symptoms uh, from like drowsiness to all sorts of things. So it's best to just breathe normally, just normal breath full of gas <sighs> and exhale and breathe in so just continually breathe if you we call it skip breathing um if you're if you like pause your breathing instead of holding your breath you're just pausing your breath um once every now and then just to adjust your buoyancy it's not going to be the end of the world but try not to do it too much or too long because yeah your carbon dioxide levels in your bloodstream is going to increase and yeah your brain's going to receive that as saying oh i'm not getting enough fresh air i need to breathe and you'll start to breathe to try and flush out all of that carbon dioxide uh, so your breathing rate's going to increase uh, your gas level is going to drop so it's not a good thing um, and some divers can experience panic because of that hypercapnia. You feel like you're not getting enough gas and, uh, and sometimes the brain chemistry just tells you panic, let's get out, uh, which is obviously a bad thing. So no, it's not usually recommended. Uh, the best thing is just to breathe normally. Uh, I was taught to breathe in for three seconds and breathe out for three seconds. Uh, it, it really stretches out that lungful. Uh, if you're really trying to be as um, uh, like conservative as possible, uh, I was also taught to hum whilst you're exhaling because you'll be surprised at just how long that like gas will last if you're humming whatever song is stuck in your head. Um, instead of just, you, you can really stretch out that breath for quite a long time. You're continually exhaling, but it's important to get that fresh air in to, uh, to really flush out that carbon dioxide. So whilst no, you probably won't get any like lung injury by doing anything, you, the first thing that you'll probably run into is something called hypercapnia. Um, so no, it's best to continually breathe as, uh, as normal as possible. Your chances of hypercapnia increase with um, uh, like, longer dead air spaces like snorkels, uh, full face masks and the dreaded full face mask snorkel um, because again, you're not emptying your entire lung full. They don't collapse completely. Uh, that's a bad thing. Um, you still have a small amount of air uh, just in your lungs. Even when you think you've fully exhaled, there's still a little bit more. Um, so that's still 
relatively high levels of carbon dioxide in there. Also in your like your trachea and all that, you've got this big tube in your uh, in your throat that goes down to your lungs and the bronchus and all that kind of stuff. That still has gas inside of it that we call a dead air space because it doesn't make it all the way out before it's replenished with fresh gas. So if you're then adding a snorkel onto the top of that or a full face mask, uh, you've got this extra dead air space. So you really need to big lungfuls to uh, to flush it out as much as uh, as possible that carbon dioxide and replace it with some nice fresh air um but yeah we don't usually advise to skip breathing um not frequently obviously uh if you feel like you need to like duck underneath something and kind of hold that empty lungful for for a few moments it's not the end of the world you're not going to hurt yourself but try to breathe normally after that to really flush out any carbon dioxide. Uh, any other questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use this AskMark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. And uh, remember to head over to our website, scubadivingmag.com for the latest scuba diving news. Uh, thank you for watching everybody. Remember to like, share, subscribe, do all that good social media stuff here on YouTube. And of course, safe diving.